Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our vanilla Minecraft 1.14.4 Let's Play series. I hope you're having a good day because it's Thursday. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's not Friday. It surely isn't Monday, though, so I guess it's the day before Friday. Now, you may be asking yourself at the beginning of this video, self. What in the world is Crazy Dancraft doing today? Why is he making a huge pillar of sand near his base uh, for no apparent reason? That's actually a really good question. I'm about to kill myself. That's why. <laughs> because we have, I've been AFK for a little bit, and we've got some of these furnaces loaded up with uh, Cactus Green. Now, we're going to talk about how these furnaces work because... Uh, there might be some questions if you don't know. I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna uh, edge him a you. I do have a couple torches, even though I'm gonna drop them, but at least they'll be on the ground when I die because we're gonna break this sand pillar down. Um, obviously, this is the reason I did. Look at there's some lava over there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, look at our little area here: jungle, savanna, desert, plains. Yeah, we did. Or not? Yeah, savanna. All right, so let's get up here. I'm gonna. I, I don't know how. I, this is probably way too far. Um, I mean, I could kill myself a lot shorter than this, but why not? Why not just do it in style? <laughs> why not just heave ourselves down? I wanted to see what it looked like up here anyway. Oh, look, like our little place looking pretty good. Um, today we're going to add another building. Uh, we need to have an enchanting station, an enchanting room, and I think we're going to build it right there where that little bit of podzo is where we had that uh, spruce tree. Yeah, might have to do a little bit of terraforming. We'll work on that together here in just a little bit. But I want to see how much experience one full chest of uh, this cactus green stuff actually gives us. Okay, so now all we have to do is like fling ourselves off here. I just want to make sure, like, you know, we're going to die. We should die spectacularly. How about we just go like this? <laughs> now, what we're, we're trying to kill ourselves on purpose. Okay, there we go. We're dead. Because we had 29 levels. I should be able to go right out here and just pick up these couple things. Oh, dang it. We have more levels again. Ah, that's not what we want. We're going to have to kill ourselves again. And then not pick up the, the stuff. I don't think we're going to do that pillar trick again, though. Uh, I guess we can just go like get in the water and drown or something like that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I love that. Okay, let's gather up all that. We'll leave that there, just in case. Let's go find ourselves some water, and then we'll just kill ourselves. Let's actually put all of our stuff that we own, except for... Let's just put it right here in this chest. Here's our two stacks of sand, torches, that. So when we die, we don't even have to go back, right? We can just kill ourselves. We'll be at zero XP. That's what we should have done the first time. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. So let's go here. Here's a nice little hole. <laughs> By the way, I planted, this was a couple episodes ago, I planted all this sugar cane all around my little area here on purpose because we were going to need some paper, and we're definitely going to need paper today if we're going to try to make, do some enchanting setup stuff. So I should drown pretty quickly here. Not very exciting. Hope your work week is going okay if you're one of those working type people. If you're not, I hope your week in general is going all right. I've been busy, busy, busy. Okay, so this is what we wanted, okay? Now, zero experience. Um, I can grab... I really don't need any of that stuff. Maybe the torches. Let's just grab those out. Now let's talk about how this enchanting thing works. Now, somebody way smarter than me, um, about Minecraft at least, figured out... I'm going to turn this off. I don't think... Well, do we still need it? Yeah, so we got a couple down here that are still running. They're close to being full, though. We're going to let them go. We are dump, dumping some stuff on the ground here. That's okay. All that means is we can't pull anything out of these guys yet. We're going to have to deal with that. I know it's super loud. I'll try to edit it when I edit the video. So here's the deal about um, furnaces. As things are cooked, you know how like if you like smelt a, a stack of iron or something and you pull the iron out, you get like some experience. Like, uh, And that's a way to get some early experience in the game. Well, someone figured out that they'll store experience for like a long time. And as long as you keep sort of feeding things through, they have this internal buffer of experience that they will save up. So, as long as there are items in here that you can take out, you should get all of the experience for everything that has been smelted through this furnace. Because it saves it in the furnace. So when you pull this out, it's essentially like pulling out all of these and all of these one at a time from the furnace. But you get it all in one big, like, push. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that and see what, how much we end up getting. 
Okay, look, we went from zero, like dead zero, to 35 levels. And that means we essentially got all the experience for this and all the experience for all of these in one shot, just by pulling this little bit out. Now, for instance, if I do it again, right, I just get a little tiny bit of experience, however much that was, right? I don't get like a benefit of all the other experience. So that means to be able to get tons of experience again, we have to op we have to empty all of these guys. Like all of these need to be emptied out. And we sort of start from scratch again, okay? And we let that run again, and then when it's full again, we can get another 35 levels. Now, if we had been holding in our hand a mending tool when we did that, we would have gotten credit for all of that that would have went towards mending and would have, like, repaired the tool probably more than it needed to be repaired and then given us some extra experience. So that's why, that's how that experience farm works if you had any questions about that. Um, it's not really... I mean, it's just the way the game works in this case. Uh, we're going to go over here to this lava pit that I saw when I was up on the hill. Isn't it just like right over here? Yeah, right here. And we're just going to throw all this cactus green in it. We don't need it. So let's go stand right here like so. And then we should be able to go... Just hit Q. Control Q to throw an entire stack out of your inventory at the same time. There's no need to keep any of this stuff. Perfect. Okay, so anyway, now we have 35 levels, which we can do, we can do some enchants with, we can do all kinds of crazy stuff, so that's what we're going to try to do if we possibly can. So, um, but first I think we need to build a, a little enchanting uh, building, and now I think what we'll do, though, is, uh, well, I need to do a little bit of work, and I'm going to go off camera in just a second. We're going to clean up this area here a little bit. Uh, we need to get all this puzzle out of here. I don't think I'm going to worry about saving any, because now that I know that we can get essentially all the pods we need by planting a double spruce tree. I don't think there's any reason. And I'm going to actually use these these tools. I mean, why not? We made them. Let's just use... Oh, I should get my food out of there, too. Just so I have something to eat while I'm out here working. And I'm just going to clean up this area a little bit and essentially bring it to the same level as everything else around here. So I don't like this little dip. So we're going to have it all at the same level. That means we need to do some backfill. And um, I might, I've been thinking about fixing this as well. So I think we'll bring the, the, the this little hill down so we don't have these like sharp edges and kind of feather them into this area. So just a little bit of uh, easy terraforming stuff. So I'm going to get, over, get on uh, working on this off camera. And I'll bring you back on the other side. And we'll talk about how we're going to build this house today. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I've got this place just leveled out, and I just, you know, I worked this hill so it wasn't like a big gap, and I filled in some stuff over here. It's almost all turning into grass now. I did leave this little, like, entranceway just so I can get to the nether if I need to. Obviously, we're going to have to have a little project to uh, make this look halfway decent. But I thought we would maybe start thinking about where we're going to place... I need to go grab some cobblestone uh, quick. But I thought we would start thinking about where we're going to start placing this little enchanting room. Now, we do have some requirements, uh, as you probably know. And we should probably go ahead and grab... What do we need? Like, one, two diamonds? We also need a book. Hmm... All right, we might have to find some leather. Let me see, leather, 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 okay? So let's get a piece of leather, and we may have to go harvest a little bit of our sugar cane, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know if I have any other paper laying around. Do you catch paper? I don't think so. Hmm, I don't believe you do. Hmm, I don't see any. Okay, no worries, we'll go get some. Everything's still running down there? Yes. <laughs> I can feel it when I look over there um, from a frame rate perspective. Let's go grab a little bit of sugar cane just over the hill here. And we'll make our enchanting table. And we'll use that as kind of like the basis for how this thing's going to look. So if we go here and make it like those. Well, you know what we should do while we're over here? Just harvest all of this. That way we can come back if we need more. So I'm pretty sure we probably will need more than what we've got here. Because we have to make, what, uh, 15 bookcases? Yeah, so we're going to need lots of books. Just grab this real quick. It'll just take a second. I'll just have to go up on the hill there and see if I can scavenge any more. Um, 
saplings. I chopped down a bunch of, um, a uh, what are they? Oak trees. Oh, oak trees. Those are the words I'm trying to say. Chopped down a bunch of oak trees and got all the wood from them. Uh, so I've got over almost three stacks of wood. But some of them were like those giant ones, you know, that have all the branches that go all crazy. So I've been seeing see the leaves are decaying up there. So I was trying to get as many saplings as I could. Also got a couple apples, which may come in handy down the road if we need to do some stuff with like zombie villagers and stuff like that. You know, you never know. So let's go up here. Yeah, look at all these. Let's rake them all in. Get a couple sticks too. Nothing wrong with that. And then the rest of these could probably just despawn. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's a stack of those and five apples. I'm down. 100% down with that. Okay, so let's... I never... We never got to where we wanted to. So let me go and make this enchanting table and grab a couple things. And we'll do that together. Alright, let's see. Um, I need to find my obsidian that is around here somewhere. Man, my poor storage system. We gotta get back on track with that for sure. Hmm, I don't know where that could be. Is it in here? I know I got a bunch of extra obsidian, I thought. From making the portal. Maybe it's across the way. Let's go down and see. and see. If not, we'll have to go grab some. Shouldn't be the big deal to grab some quick. By the way, you'll see that I'm a couple levels down. Um, I took one diamond. I was going to make another axe, but I just took one diamond and... Ah, yes. One, two. Uh, I think. Oh, is it four? Let's see. Oh, I need a thing. <laughs> Almost tried to look in JEI. Oh man, I've been playing too much modded. Um, I took a little bit of, of my experience that I got and added one diamond repair to my axe. My axe is not that great. Get chopped, just efficiency four. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to enchant. Uh, one of the first things I enchant is going to be a new axe. And I'm hoping to get like half decent enchants on it and then I'll combine them. And then maybe we'll be in good shape there. Okay, so what do I need for... So we need a bunch of paper. Might as well do that. And then we need like one, two, three piece of paper and this right like this. And then I think, I think it's like this. And then like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's our enchanting table. Now we just need some cobble. All right, and now let's head up. Oh, you know what I want to do while I've got you guys? One of the things that you guys mentioned here to hide these, I think... Oh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, no, that's not how that works at all. That's not what you told me to do. I know I just got myself distracted. I'm sorry. It just, it happens. I want to say there's like... I don't think it works. Let me chop down one of these acacia trees real quick, and then we'll see if we can't figure it out. Hello, chicken. How are you over here jumping around, being all cool? Do you want to go live with the parrots? With Janky and Alex? <laughs> you certainly can. Maybe we need to get a chicken farm going on around here. I'm okay eating fish. Man, we've got tons of it, so we might as well, you know, we catch it and get it from fishing, so we might as well just keep it keep it going. All right, so now let's go inside here. I'm pretty sure this is what you you guys told me to do. That if I take these, is it like this? Yeah. And then I get these. Okay. Which are gray on the edges. And then I go and like get rid of this. This is kind of just a proof of concept. I'll have to come back in and um, do it to the rest of them at some point. We'll have to have an episode where all we do that episode is do all the stuff that I said I was going to do. <laughs> yeah, so that looks actually really good. Thank you. Uh, I can't remember, obviously, who I never remember who gave me that tip. So you lose a log in the process, but you get uh, bark on all the sides. I think that looks much better just by doing that. How are the parrots? Okay, there's one of them, and the other one's right there. Okay, they're doing good. All right, so now let's get back to what we were planning on doing in the first place. I think... 
So if I put this enchanting table down, let's just let's just pretend like it goes right here. Is it nighttime again? Let's go sleep really quick. It's not quite night, I guess. It's got to be close. There we go. Okay. So if I put that down, then, then I'm going to need... And we can... Yeah, we just use oak logs. That's fine. Then we're going to need bookcases, right? So we're going to need like a bookcase here, here, here. Or however we want to do it. We can probably go like this and then... One, two, and then one, two, three, right? Like that, that's nine. And then we can do 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we have to have an odd one. So we might even be able to go do something like that, just for symmetry purposes. So that is how the enchanting thing, these have to be bookcases, obviously, but that's how the enchanting thing needs to set up. So I think what we should do then, that means our walls of our building here like, I'm, I want to make the building just big enough. Let me see. One, two, three, four. So if I do... I want it to be longer. Okay, I think that's going to work out good. This will be in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is where we want to put this thing. I think I want to move the whole thing. So at least I know how big it has to be. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be seven wide. Let's go ahead and chop these down real quick. Seven wide by high by however long I want to make it. Right? I think that's the that's the deal. Let me get my soap touch pick, this guy right here. I'm gonna break that and be able to pick it back up. Okay. So if I push this back a little bit, um, the walls, let's start with the back wall. Let's I wanna sort of have it be like maybe here. So if I do no here. One, two, and then let's just make this back wall. This is outside wall, so one, two, three, four, five, and like that. So that's where this thing will sit back here. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Yeah, that's going to be good. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and I'm going to put a thing here, and then I want to go like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and then another one of these. And then go in like that. And then I want to go... Actually, I, instead of doing that, let's get this guy out of the way. This needs to be one of these. And then we're going to bring this back. Just a couple. Yeah, I think that's going to... This is going to be kind of a big building. I mean, big as far as anything else we've got here. And then I think I can probably get away with that. Okay. So this is going to be sort of the footprint of our building. And uh, my, my idea is, you know, every little village that you've got around here needs some sort of place of worship, like a church. So I think we're going to try to get ourselves um, a little church build. Nothing too fancy, but I did, I did want something that had like a, a steepled roof, maybe. You know, like something that kind of goes up. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. So let me just do... Uh, let's, let's do this a little bit rough shaped real quick and then we'll figure out how we're going to make this thing look you know, I'm, I think I'm going to have to go off camera and do a little bit of work I need more cobble already okay so that's what it's going to look like and then we're going to have yeah 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 I think it's going to be good that feels like a lot of cobble unbroken cobblestone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, right here. If I put in maybe, maybe we'll go like one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll have like some little detail right there where those guys come out. One, two, three. Okay. And we'll go. Is that okay? I think that's still okay. Yeah, so this is the, going to be the, sh the shape of our building here. These guys are going to go up. And then we're going to have like a like a, a little roof here. And then this, yeah, let's go get a little bit more. Let's keep working on this a little bit together. 
just so we can at least get the general outline and then I could go off camera and like fiddle with it <laughs> you know we gotta you gotta like worry with it a little bit and figure out how you're gonna make it look but at least we can get like the general outline together minus the roof of course and we're gonna use the same roof style you know uh, stone roof with that like wood center I think that's gonna look okay alright so let's keep going up here a little bit at least get these all to the same height so we can kinda of take a look okay and then like those alright so that is probably tall enough for this area here then we're just gonna put the roof right here it's gonna look just like those roofs like those right same deal spruce um, but this area here so starting here and I guess these guys technically one two three four let's go up a little bit higher just go All right, let me see what that looks like yeah so the uh, yeah so the idea being is we walk in here this is gonna be a little bit higher than normal which is kind of like um, I don't know that reminds me of how a, a church looks um, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I haven't spent a lot of time in my life inside a church church. <laughs> so I may not be the right one to ask on how it looks. Let's go grab a little bit of um, a little bit, a bit of building materials. I hope we have enough spruce. But I want it to be like sort of like that two-tiered deal. And like we walk in, you have this little narrow tunnel, which is really not what I was going for, but I don't want to make the building any bigger than it is already. So let's grab like these these for sure um, more cobble let's grab that maybe that and that yeah. and then I'm gonna have to find some spruce hopefully I have some if not I have a whole tree over there I could chop down I love these little guys they're awesome okay so let's go up here like this Okay, and then, how many, uh, yeah, that's enough. Oh, do I have, hold on. Uh, spruce. Yeah. Let's look here real quick. Okay, spruce. Let's get like half a stack of these. Let's go. The only thing I'm going to need these spruce guys for are going to be for stairs, right? So I can just go ahead and convert all of these. And we can do like one of these deals like so and make a bunch of stairs. There we go. And then these can go back in the spruce box. Yep. And saplings can all go. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. So let's go back up. And at least get a little bit of this roof kind of worked out together. And then, uh, and I think what we'll do is we're going to put some big windows in here. And I think we're going to do it like this. One, two, three. Like big, big straight windows like that. Because that's kind of, at least in my mind, how it should look. We have these two sections. So we'll go like these. These are where the windows are going to be. Even though these are going to be partially covered up. Yeah, they will be, won't they? Yeah, that's just the way it is with our enchanting setup okay and then we'll see what we end up having okay so if I go out here I'm just gonna use this to pillar up here real quick uh, we're gonna do how are we gonna do our roof so if we take this and kinda do like we have been with our other designs no reason to part right part way with our other design this is gonna be spruce here Yeah, we're going to go just like that. Right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Is that how we're going to do it? I think so. All right, and then let's get these guys out 
here and here and then that's not right is it nope okay if we're gonna do it we gotta do it right Okay, so let's get our axe, chop these guys out. Okay, so here, this is going to be spruce here. And we're going to run it into the side of this building. I think that's okay, right? And then this is going to be spruce, like so. Whoops. It's going to be nighttime again. It's hard when you're working out here outside. <laughs> it gets to be nighttime too often. I mean, this means we've been cording for like another 10 minutes without breaking. Yeah, we gotta... I gotta stop the madness here. But um, we at least gotta get some of this worked out together. And then down here at the bottom, like so, that's gonna be that. And this is gonna be like that. Okay, that's right. Now we're back on track. Let's do the same thing over here. Like this. No, not like that. This, this, and that, and then one out here, like so, and one. What's the chance of me putting that right? Ah, pretty good, I guess. All right, and then we'll take this and this one out. Okay, good. All right, so now if I go back up here, this is going to be stone. All right, and then I'm going to have another row this will be stone out here on the end all right and then that's going to be the peak and for the peak i was doing stone slabs do i have any did i bring any no okay um and then i think what we'll do here is we're gonna take this and somewhere i'm not sure exactly where it's got to be the same level it's like what one yeah like right there that's going to be like that we want this to be a little bit low right and then we come in and we're going to hopefully open into a much larger roof structure yeah okay so let me go grab a couple or make i guess make some slabs like so that should be plenty and we'll go out here and we will put these down on top like so Oh, we want to fill maybe this in like so. Okay, good. And then we'll go like that and that and like that. And this will be where the other wall is then. And then one more thing that we have to do is we have to go here and get a stair. And then we're going to put this guy like so and then like that and like that and like that and like that. Okay. Now we've got the same roof structure that we have here. Maybe a little a little different, but pretty close to being the same. And then I'm going to come in here, under, back behind. Yep, cobblestone walls. And we want to stick these guys in here like so. So it looks pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then we can put some cobblestone in here and in here. Like that, I guess it doesn't really matter what we put in there. And then this gives us a little bit of room up there for some lighting inside this little like vestibule type place. All right, let's take this down. And then I just need a couple doors and we're gonna use oak doors like we've been using all along. I think that's okay. So we need one, two of these. Make some doors. And then we'll just go and put doors. Uh, here and then here and then this opens up into the main enchanting area yeah this is gonna look okay right um maybe a, a touch too close to that building but i'm not too worried about it <laughs> on our way to the smokehouse we can stop off and do some enchanting i'm okay with that because i i i'm fighting my natural instinct and i don't know if you guys do the same thing that i do but i'm like i have this issue where i want to 
keep things really spread out. And on purpose, I'm trying to keep all of this stuff. I wanted to like essentially mash it all together and have it be as close as possible with like little open areas in between. But I want these buildings to be close, almost as if you know whoever built them in the first place felt like they needed to be close together. They didn't want anything spread out, maybe because of. Um, whatever lives in the desert or whatever was going on over there. This is just like a little establishment at the edge of the the desert and the ed edge of the the savannah. So, yeah. So let me get to work on the rest of this, this build. Um, I think what I probably need to do is go up another block or two and then put a roof on and I'm going to work on that. I'm going to, I'm going to stop the camera and bring you back on the other side after we get that other roof done. And then we're going to figure out what we're going to do for the windows. And then we're going to get the enchanting stuff in. So we still have a lot to do, so don't go anywhere. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay. So I've got something that I, I'm, I'm fairly content with. I mean, I think we could probably do a little bit better, but you know, for the most part, I think we're okay. Now, I need to put in some more stairs, though. And I need to get that done, like, sooner than later. So, oh, not like that. Why do I always put them on upside down? Go here. Okay. Go back here. They go like that. Okay. And now we need to get up here. So we got to put our edge on. I don't even know if I have enough. I have a feeling I don't. I've got all the ones. I just got to put this edge on. Hopefully we'll have enough. Yeah. Okay, and then one more here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then we just got to put one over here. Oops. Dang it. <laughs> I've fallen off this thing so many times. It's not even funny. Uh, but we might be able to do it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now we just got to do the other side as well. I'm trying not to show you too much of this build, but I wanted to bring you back and at least get it finished. Okay, let's go like here. Ah, yeah. All right, I think we're going to have enough. I think it'll be okay. I don't think we're going to get the inside done, except for a little bit of inside work, um, because we're running out of time in this episode. I didn't realize that... I spent much that much time just like jibber jabbering around, but you know, it's kind of my mo mo sometimes. All right, let's go over here. Hopefully, I have enough stairs. Oh, I think I have like just enough. One extra one. Perfect. Okay. All right. Oh, pick that back up, and then we'll just jump onto this and go down. Okay. So I think we're in pretty good shape here. Um, I'm going to go inside and show... Oh, Pigman, what are you doing in here? Oh, man, I don't want to start something with that guy. Where'd he come from? Oh, I think what I'm going to do for the floor, though, because I think that this will look pretty good, is I'm going to go like that and... Whoop, like that, yeah. And then back this way. And then I think we're going to strip these logs. And Do they look... Yeah, so it looks like planks, right? Yeah, I think that looks okay. I don't know if I have enough to do the entire floor. I mean, close. We'll have to chop down some more trees. Let's see if we can find a tree real quick. Or some kind of oak tree that we can just chop and get a couple pieces from. Yeah, like these are all janky looking anyway. And then that's eight. Maybe however many these are. There should be plenty. That way we'll have a little bit extra if we need some for other decoration stuff. Okay, so let's take a look. There it is. I think it looks pretty good. We still need to do some work to it. Let's get over here where we actually see like the whole thing. I got I got some scaffolding. I know I should be using like scaffolding, scaffolding, but I think it looks okay, and it kind of gives me like a little church vibe. A little short, stubby one, but I think that's okay. We didn't need it to be anything too out of control, crazy. Let's go inside and finish the rest of the floor. So we're gonna go like that, and that, and then that, and that, and then hopefully my axe makes it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, oh, that floor looks good. And I think what we'll do here is we're going to chop this out and this out. And I figured that we're going to put some lighting in these corners. Let's just put a log like that for now. And maybe we can go up here and put one. And then some of these. Oh, let's use uh, the stone brick ones. Let me see. Yeah, do one more, one more. And then a glowstone block will go right in the middle. And that'll give us some interior lighting. All right, so before we're done here, though, I, we have to get the glass, the, the, the windows done. And I have over here some glass. And I just need some dye. Oh, uh, one color of dye that I would like to use is green. I think that makes sense since we've been taking care of business with our crazy farm. Let's grab one, two, three, four. I bet we even have some green glass somewhere, like right here. Yeah. Green stained glass. We also have some red. Maybe we could just use those. I was thinking green and red. I know it's kind of Christmassy, but, you know, it's okay. It's not going to look Christmassy because that green is not like Christmas green, I don't think. And I think what we'll do... I extended these up one more time. I think what I'm going to do is do like this... And then this, and then this, and then that. And we're just going to go back and forth. Yeah, I think that's good. So this one's red, uh, red, 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 and then green, 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 green. Yep. Okay. And then back here we have a larger window, but I'm going to use the exact same deal here. Okay, and then this is going to be, so this will be red, 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 like so, and then a green one here in the middle. All right, we also got to get rid of this stuff. Is that the last one? Yep, okay. And we're still going to have a couple finishing touches, but I think that's okay. I mean, we doesn't have to be 100% perfect just in this one episode. I mean, I think we've got... Oh, we got to do the other side quick. Um, now that I see these, this green, I don't know if I like it. Green and red. So we're going to have to see what we end up doing here. Oh, is it getting to be nighttime again? Is that right? Yep. And red, red. Okay. All right, let's go sleep through the night one more time, and then we'll take a step back and look at this thing from a distance. Um, I might go and see. Let's go ahead and sleep. Let me just go see if I have any glowstone blocks. I may. Oh, none in there. Oh, man, where would they be? in all these random chests somewhere. I'm not going to uh, make you guys wait. I'll have to we'll have to do that next time. I was going to say I would do it off camera, but you know. Yep. And we might even want to do like now that I'm thinking about it, redstone lamps maybe. That might look better. But anyway, let's take a step back here and look at our our in what our is going to be our enchanting room. Oh, it looks good, I think. I don't know if I like the multicolored colored <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. I'm down. I'm okay with this crazy place. Yeah, we got to get a thumbnail shot. How about we figure out where we're going to do that? Like, maybe like, oh, let's get that right there. Yeah, I'm trying to be like all artsy. I think that looks like a church. Hopefully you guys do too. Um, so yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Now, all we need to do is figure out where which I think it's going to be like right here. This thing is literally going to go in the floor right there. Okay? And then we're going to have bookcases. One, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to have to make a bunch of bookcases next time. I think this looks okay. And from inside, I think it even looks better. <laughs> we need to get some light in here for sure. I need to probably put down some torches just to make sure. Here, let's stick torches where these are going to be. Um, and we'll do something like here, and maybe like here, and here for now, and here, and here. Just don't want to have anything come in here and like cause any trouble. I think it looks pretty good. Man, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from my 1.14.4 Vanilla Let's Play series, 
I think we're doing pretty good. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. This video and hundreds like it was made through the support of my amazing patrons. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave.